In this video, I am going to show you how to create a gorgeous piece of art using a technique called hydro dipping. This is a beginner tutorial, so I'm going to show you exactly what you need and how simple this process is. So let's jump right in. Hydro dipping has been really trendy on YouTube and all over the internet the last couple of years. It's essentially the process of creating a design on the surface of water and then dipping a blank into that water to transfer the design from the surface to your blank. So here's what you need to do your own hydro dipping at home. You're going to need a bucket for water. Now this is going to end up being your crafting bucket. It will get dirty, it will get messy, it will get stained. So have something that you can dedicate to this process. You're going to need some spray paint. Any type of spray paint will do any brand. Just make sure that it's not old, that it's in good condition, and you shake it really well. Then you're going to need a couple of blanks. For this project, I'm using a ceramic flower pot and a coffee mug. I like a white blank because it makes the colors pop on it. Grab some newspaper and some gloves to protect your surface and your hands as well. Set yourself up in a well-ventilated area. I am in my garage with the garage door open, so all those fumes can go right out the door and not put me in any danger. Start by filling that bucket with water. For this process, I actually did fill it a little too full. You'll see that later. But fill it up with some water and then get your spray paint ready. You wanna shake each can really well. Take the cover off and put it right next to your bucket. Now I'm going for kind of a stone look here. So I grabbed gray, white, and gold and then a bright cobalt blue to add a few blue streaks to this. So when you're ready, start with the first color and spray right in the middle and keep alternating shots of color right in the middle. Repeat until you really like the design you have. I used about three shots of each color and I only wanted a little bit of blue in this design so I didn't use the blue until the very end. Once all your paint is in, grab a stick, this is a literal stick, and just swirl it around a little bit. Be sure to work fast. We don't want that paint to dry on top. Then take your piece and just dip it in and pull it out. All the paint and the design on it is gonna transfer right to your blank. Look at that awesome kind of marble stone effect on this pot. Flip it over, put it on some paper, let it dry. Now we can use the same bucket of water. So I am going to use those same colors, a little more blue this time, spray some in and we're gonna dip something else. The last step here before everything completely dries is to just take a paper towel and dab off any large water droplets that are on it. Uh, the paint sticks pretty quickly, but you want to get some of that water off. And then we are going to let this dry until the paint is completely cured. You can marble just about any non-porous surface. Be sure to read the post that goes along with this for some more tips and tricks on hydro dipping. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I post new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.